Hey everyone, it's Lots of Gambling. Hope you had a good new year and a good holiday. And if you went to the casino, hope you won a bunch of money. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these videos. And you know, as you know, if you've watched the previous video I did, uh, you'll know the purpose of these videos is to help you be a more informed and smarter gambler. Obviously, there's no surefire way of winning. I would never advocate for that. Um, and say that there is, but there are ways of losing less money. And today, the topic is about Lightning Link. More specifically, why it's unlikely you will ever hit the grand jackpot. Now, we all know what Lightning Link is. Anyone who's been in a casino more than 30 minutes has likely seen a Lightning Link machine or heard about a Lightning Link machine. Um, Lightning Link came to the United States in 2015. It was uh, invented by Aristocrat in Australia. The game was actually fairly widespread there in Australia before it came here to the US. I wanna say it was in Australia for about two years prior to it getting here in the United States and basically ever since it's gotten here it's become wildly popular um, they're just everywhere uh, you go some casinos uh, there's actually one in Oklahoma actually has a lightning link casino where like the whole casino is just lightning link machines and there's a very good reason why you see these machines everywhere and here's a clue it's not to make players or you money. It's to make the casinos money. These are some of the most profitable machines that casinos have ever seen. Uh, short of the IGT Wheel of Fortune theme that was pretty prevalent in the 90s and uh, throughout the 2000s up until about like 2012 or 13. Um, the reason you see so many of these machines is because of the top heavy grand jackpot progressive. Um, they're attractive to customers and uh, the average person who doesn't know a lot about gambling um, really is keen on the chance of winning 10, 15, $20,000 on a 50 cent bet. When I first saw these uh, about five years ago, I have to be honest, I really wasn't that impressed with them. I felt that these machines were kind of boring. The whole idea of collecting balls with varying amounts, um, you know, just to me wasn't something that interests me. I'm more into the themed games. I'm more into the, you know, flashy stuff that is fun to play. These games seemed kind of boring. Um, however, uh, later on, when they did become more widespread uh, in Las Vegas and in the United States in general, um, I did play them. And, you know, I did see why they had a following. For starters, the, the progressive amounts are nice. The grand amount is huge. The major, the minors, if you're at the right denomination, they're all big. And you can, you know, you can get some decent wins on them. However... The problem is these machines are top heavy. And what I mean by that is the grand jackpot, which is generally seated at $10,000, um, is a huge percent or huge portion rather of the payback percentage. So it comprises uh, probably like 15% of the payback percentage. And what that means is over time, not only are you going to lose quicker on these types of machines? You're also going to lose more money. Now, that doesn't mean that someone who hits a grand jackpot isn't winning a lot of money and that there isn't potential there. There is potential. But let's circle back to the point of this video. And that is, it's highly unlikely you will ever hit the grand jackpot. Now, the reason that that's important is because... The, unless you're playing an extremely high denomination or extremely high bet level, meaning over $20 a spin, you will never win anywhere near the amount that you're losing. And that's because 
the major amounts cap at a thousand the mini and minor depending on what denomination you're at um, cap at like I think it's 500 and 100 if you're doing 10 cent denomination which is the max on most machines unless you're in the high limit room and again while those amounts are nice they're just not enough they're not really enough to make up for that poor payback percentage and I'm going to put a graphic up here and this graphic basically illustrates a the odds of winning uh, a jackpot on a certain machine uh, for aristocrat and this machine is called black rhino so it's an older machine and it's a dollar machine um, and basically the odd the, the top thing you can get is five black rhinos on the line okay and five black rhinos on the line pays 5,000 credits so that's 5,000 times your bet okay so that's a top bet. and the reason I'm, I'm picking this out is two reasons one it's listed on the Australian Gaming Council website, and it's it's one of the few machines that Aristocrat actually like will publish uh, what the odds of hitting a jackpot are on one of their machines. And two, to demonstrate the odds of actually hitting the grand jackpot on Lightning Link. So anyway, so the odds of, of lining up the five black rhinos on this game are one and nine million seven hundred sixty five thousand six hundred and twenty five so look at that number for a second and realize like that is an insane amount of spins that it takes to get that jackpot to kind of put in perspective how difficult it would be to land the jackpot on this example you're looking at ten thousand 777 hours of play if you played every day for every hour of every day which you wouldn't right because people need to sleep you'd have to play for 449 days straight before you would hit that jackpot okay before you would line up those five uh, rhinos and the reason i brought this up is because again it, it's it's a similar paid structure to lightning link right it's very top heavy um it's it's you know five thousand times the bet now imagine something that's even harder right which is lightning link so the grand jackpot okay and we have to go based on the 50 cent bet because that's the minimum bet so the grand jackpot on lightning link which is seated at ten thousand dollars at most casinos that's where it starts some casinos actually seed higher than that um, you're looking at 20,000 times your bet, okay? So we would have to multiply, okay, the odds of hitting that jackpot by four. So if the odds on the Rhino example um, are 9 million and change, so 9,765,625, we would have to actually multiply that by four, okay? which would give us the chance of hitting the grand jackpot. Because again, they're roughly the same pay table. So when we do that, when we multiply that 9 million and change times four, okay, what we get now is 39,062,500. So that's one in every 39,062,500 spins to win the grand jackpot. That equates in case you're wondering, to 43,402 hours of slot play, okay? We're, we're basing that on 15 spins a minute. And that equates to 1,808 days, which is roughly five years straight of playing on a slot machine with no sleep. Now, you don't have to be a mathematician to realize that that is highly unlikely right it's highly unlikely that you're going to win that you're going to be playing for five years straight on a slot machine now it doesn't mean that it can't happen right but we're talking like lottery equivalent odds here all right or close to it um you know and and for me um you know it's just not worth it right it just isn't and and it's statistically speaking it's definitely not worth it um, and I can tell you based on, you know, 
other videos I've watched of people and myself playing that these machines, while they're addictive, while you think like, oh, I can just, you know, put $20 in and play 50 cents a spin and, you know, I could win ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. I mean, you could, but you won't. And that's, that's the reality of it, right? You won't. Yeah, sure, there are videos of people, okay, that have hit the grand jackpot on YouTube. Maybe someone will even comment on this video saying that they've hit it. That's great. Congratulations. You know, there's also people that have won the lottery. Um, that's not me or you, right? So, you know, just because someone has won something doesn't mean it's likely that you're going to win it. And the thing is, I think most of us play slots because we kind of enjoy playing them right it's fun to play them we don't go in and expecting to solve all of our problems you know unless you happen to sit on a mega bucks machine right then you're like oh maybe you know like i could solve all my problems i'm gonna win 10 million dollars however the prizes on these lightning link machines don't link up pardon the pun with the top with how hard they are to hit so for some for a ten thousand dollar payout, you wouldn't think that it would be like one in forty million. You would think it would be like one in a couple million spins. Um, but going back to why these are so popular for casinos is if you translate those that forty three one in forty three million spins that forty three million spins, and you say it's fifty cents a spin on average, and we know people bet even more than fifty cents a spin. Um, you're looking at a slot hold at a 10% slot hold. The casinos are making $2 million, okay, in slot hold for every grand jackpot they pay out. Think about that for a second. They're making $2 million for every $10,000 or whatever, $12,000, whatever it ends up hitting at, grand jackpot that hits. They're only seeding it at 10, right? The rest of the amount is being contributed by the, you, the player. And this is why I think that playing lightning link machines are a bad proposition and something that you shouldn't do. Just because they're everywhere in the casino, just because you see your friends playing them or you see you know people winning huge amounts on YouTube on them, doesn't mean you should play them. And something else that's really important to note um, on the majority of these videos that you're seeing uh, people win the grand jackpot, they're not betting 50 cents. Now, there are some people that are betting 50 cents, but the majority that are winning these grand jackpots are betting $5, $10, $20, $50, which I do believe that the higher the spin bet, the uh, greater chance you have of hitting the grand jackpot. Yes, you can hit it across all bet levels, but I do believe that the chance uh, of hitting it is proportional to the bet. Um, so most people aren't gonna be betting $50 a spin. And I think like the perfect example of this is uh, the big jackpot, right? You know, a lot of, you know, most people have heard of him. Uh, he it has does live play every single week um, at various casinos all over the country. Um, as far as I'm aware, he's hit one grand jackpot, okay? Um, one. And he puts a lot of money through machines, right? He bets $50, $100, $1,000 a spin. So, I mean, uh, statistically, it, it would add up, you know? Like, at that bet level, you would hit it one out of every, like, 400 hours you gamble or played on it. Um, so, you know, that does make sense that he would hit one. Um, but that just shows you how difficult it is. And I would just say that there's far better uh, games in the casino for you to play than Lightning Link. And I'm calling them Lightning Link, right? But now there's Dragon Link. There's all sorts of Link machines that kind of share, they share the same, you know, uh, game, right? The, the same kind of mechanics. Um, but I would avoid anything Okay, where the grand jackpot, you know, starts at ten thousand dollars, and you know, sometimes you see it at twenty three thousand. I mean, it's just these these are these are you know lottery amount. These are these are lottery odds here. Like you're not gonna sit down, put twenty dollars in the machine, and 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 win a grand jackpot. And and the huge problem with these machines is because of the addictive nature of them, that they can kind of get you hooked in. 
because these machines have incredibly long dry streaks. Like you can lose a ton of money in an extremely short period of time. And this is because that's how the grand jackpot is seated. It takes a lot of people to lose for that one person to win of like 30 minutes. I mean, it doesn't matter what you go to the casino with. If, you're, if you go to the casino with $500, you could spend that easily in 30 minutes on a single lightning link machine betting, you know, $1.25 a spin. And there just really aren't any other machines in the casino that would do that. And, you know, that's honestly why I would say just if, you know, you want to play and you want to have a shot of winning something and you want to stretch your bankroll, um, lightning link should be like the last thing that you play. Like, it's just not worth playing at all. The bonuses very rarely pay anything. Um, even if you're hitting minor balls and majors or whatever, I mean, it's just not enough to make up for the amount you're losing. And honestly, again, they're just not fun machines. So, um, you know, that's really, that's the crux of this video. Um, just to let you know that, you know, you can think that you're going to hit the grand. You know, you might, but, you know, 99.99% of the time you're not. And uh, unless you want to play the machine for five years straight and never sleep, you know, which obviously isn't really... Uh, you know, realistic and going back, like the name of the game is lightning link and aristocrat or geniuses. And they probably came up with that name because they said, Hey, you know, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than you do hitting the grand jackpot on this machine. And with that, that's it. Um, I'd like you to like, and subscribe if you enjoy, uh, the content and we're going to be doing future videos, uh, similar to this to help you, you know, keep some of your money and maybe even win some extra money. So anyway, Slots of Gambling signing off and have a great day or night wherever you happen to be. Bye-bye.